Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome back for another ranked video. It's my path to challenger. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you think I win or if I lose this game. Aha! Uh -huh. Hi, welcome back for another ranked video. I'm solo Q on my main account. I'm playing support. I warmed up playing an ADC game though, so I don't know how that is. I got off of work and I made some honey walnut shrimp. Do you want some? I've been snacking on it in between games and stuff. But remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and push that notification bell so you don't miss me and all of my glory. And without further ado, babes, let's take a look at this game. We took Dark Harvest Keep because leaving. we want to be able to pop them, right? Like, Melio's going to do a lot of, like, healing and also some, like, what's the word? The word was shielding. Maybe, like, shielding like that. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Now, in retrospect, a month later, I have figured out that Dark Harvest is trash unless they have no healing, no shielding at all. The correct build here was Arcane Comet for Poke. And here's where the bad call started. Warwick wanted to reset, even though he was full HP. Okay. Just rotating. Before taking grubs. Because of that, I rotated for literally nothing. Wasting XP and wasting time. Allowing the bot lane, the enemy bot lane, to push into our towers, take plating before I could get back to lane and do anything. Because they also have poke on top of all of their healing and shielding. And if you think it stops there, it literally fucking doesn't. Legitimately, all of laning phase and probably all of mid lane, we just had too many missed opportunities. So many missed opportunities to grab kills or to push towers or to grab fucking objectives because of... I, I really don't know. I don't know the answer to. If you have the answer, please let me know because I really don't fucking get it. I also had a pretty shit build. People started tilting pretty early. It just got really, really sketch really quick. It was like the snowball couldn't be stopped. There was also this weird thing where we would just position so strangely and i think it's because we kind of lacked engage like we had warwick to engage but because his engage timing was a bit off a lot of times we weren't able to pick up on too many things this is one of the one of the rare times that warwick's engage actually got us something and luckily we couldn't do anything about it. I didn't listen. I saw the ASOL. I just, I didn't mean to take the kill. And Akali was really pissed at me for it. And I'm fucking sorry. I'm walking. There was also this consistent need, at least for our consistent uh, attack damage that oh, we had to fight front to back when Tom Kench wasn't losing enough health to fight front to back. I really don't want to talk about this, okay? I don't. I don't. Can we pretend that it didn't happen? Can we pretend I didn't try to dive the ace hole here? Thanks. I guess you can kind of count Jax as an engage, but again, it was the timing. It was just the engage timing. Like, what follow-up damage are you going to have engaging 1v3? Or 2v3 with a Lux. You know what I mean? Like, a level 8 Lux at that. Everyone else is double-digit levels. Okay. Wait. Don't really know what was the goddamn plan. I don't. But in this fight, you can see we don't have to engage like they do. 
And when Warwick uh, does finally decide to engage, it's a little too fucking late. You, you see what I'm talking about? Like, I want to say it has a lot to do with our engage, but it also has a lot to do with our positioning. Like, we have to be able to position for engage, right? And they just had the upper hand every single time. And I think mostly it had to do with the, the tilt that was ever so growing in the jungle um, on the allied team, okay? Because it was consistent. It was consistently tilting. And it just happened over and over and over again this game. We actually got stupid. Um, there are moments like this where things actually look good. Things look right for us. And that's because, you know, they don't have that counter engage. They don't have that, you know, fat frog to be there. Because Warwick got that triple kill, I was able to take two towers, which like, uh, great. But um, they're pushing down on us mid lane, and you know, the fuck else can we do? Like, really make it the make the fuck sense. Like, make it make the fuck sense. Just let me know. Another big issue that I saw a lot this game was our objective uh, prep. We never had objective prio because we never had lane prio. There was a misstep or mistiming in when to push lanes and how many minions need to be in each lane. And so when it was time for us to actually group for an objective, they would already be pushing the lane out, they'd have better positioning for the objective, and they had the better engage. Our timing was just so poor. I mean, Jax goes in, and that would have been Warwick's cue to go in, but um, Warwick got caught in a Souls E or something, and he like pitched out. I don't fucking know. I don't have the answers. I just know. Um, I back up. So I can get mana and actually do something in this fight because, you know, they're actually low for us to do something. But people got impatient. We just had to wait it out. And instead of waiting it out, they wanted to push for a fight that we could have won if we just turtled it. I, their positioning, ability timing, engage, and, um, Never mind it. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, why was I there? <laughs> you know the tea? The tea bitch is the fact that I literally sat in this game and I kept on asking Warwick, like, why were you there? <laughs> bitch, why were you there? It worked out, you know? Because we actually had someone in the objective vicinity at the time. <clears throat> and so... It worked out, but if everyone had that same mindset, I feel like this game would have been very different. Um, I also feel like if you're in the same rank, we should all be like looking for the same things, right? Like the same mindset situation. That's you know, people in the same rank tend to think the same, right? Birds of a feather. That's how that works. Like that's that's actually what birds of a feather mean. Uh, if you ask me, like birds of a feather actually means like um, we think alike because we're in the same rank. So. Why are we not thinking? Like, I mean, the backwards engage. The jumps in, and then, but why would you jump in? Warwick's leaving, and Warwick's your other damage, and then Warwick goes back in, and then the Tom Tan, she's like super fed and super tanky. And, you know, I guess because he knew he could kill him. But imagine I wasn't there. It was a bunch of times. But uh, here we actually got to the objective first at Baron. We got to Baron first. We like were able to take out most of the wards. These wards that are like being placed now are wards that are just now being placed. And you know, there's three wards and there's four of us, but only one person is gonna hit the wards because, right? Same rank, same mindset, right? Like that's and uh, go Jax, go Jax. Jinx R does nothing. Uh, I don't even know what Jinx is doing in this game. I just know, like, 
at a point in time, I was just throwing abilities to throw abilities. Uh, my mind went numb. You can see it on my face. Bitch, look at me. I'm stressed. I'm stressed, okay? See the wrinkles happening on my forehead right now. Do you see these wrinkles on my forehead? That's from this game, specifically. Why are you there? Like, bitch, you didn't want to walk back to lane? I mean, no, because Ziri was there. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. I like how you called me lady. Hello. At this point in time, I really couldn't tell you. All I could tell you for real is, um, girl, we didn't have we didn't have the comp. We didn't have the comp to stand for this, and we didn't have the skill. It was a team and skill issue. Okay, it was a, it was a champion and skill issue. Both. Of them. I can't watch. Y'all watch this. I'm gonna fucking die. I wanna see everything. Okay, so you remember at the beginning of the video when I was like, the bad calls just continue? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Full dive into all five with Elder. Good or bad? Yes or no? Be honest. Because be so fucking for real. Like, look me dead in my face. And then, and then go all... Then go hop into team chat and say, Where were you all? All caps. All caps. Be so fucking for real. I think with the build I had, the lack of focus on looking for picks on the squishies or, you know, not fighting front to back. Um, the lack of engage that we kind of had but not really and the amount of tankiness and um, absolute fucking damage and shielding and healing that the enemy team had I would like to chalk this loss down to uh, jungle death <laughs> remember to subscribe hit that like button and push that notification bell so you don't miss me and whatever that was I'm like pain. I have pain. I'm okay. I'm in that. pain. <laughs> that wasn't me. I'm about to blue nah. again. No more of that. You know, at least everyone on the team had pretty close damage proximity, you know, of each other. It was just positioning, like what the fuck was our positioning half the time what was it I have questions and no answers I go on a win streak I'm gonna demo I can't do it I, I'm not this account's done though. we're probably gonna head over to the mid lane account we're gonna head over to the mid lane account thank you guys so much for watching I love you and I'll catch you in the next one bye